Hello and welcome to my next Let's Play. I don't know what I'm going to call this one because I'm not actually sure what kind of game this is. <laughs> this is Dark Side Detective. Uh, I think it's a point and click adventure game. Um, but I'm not entirely sure. We'll find out when we get in. I'm confronted by a very strange <laughs> mouse cursor that's a point upwards, perfectly upwards arrow. It might be a Christmas tree. <laughs> I don't know. It's a little weird. It makes me want to like put my hand on my mouse weirdly. but. Um, oh, graphics, high def, super high def, virtually virtual reality, spooky vision. Okay. I guess there's no options here. This one's kind of funny. Police corruption on. Still on. This is going nowhere. You should give up on this. You don't learn, do you? We can't, I cannot get rid of police corruption. Uh, let's go back. So, uh, yeah, this is kind of interesting first thing then. So I guess there's like mini stories as part of this game. Malice in Wonderland, Tome Alone. Which I guess should set the tone. <laughs> the pun, pun-tastic tone. Twin Lakes Police System. That's funny. It's a Twin Peaks reference. I'm trying to remember if there's a... A, a section, a scene like that. Maybe was it season three even? Hmm. Where there's like a Twin Peaks police system thing. Anyway, uh, let's go to I guess pick file O one. See what happens. Case summary: The chief has sent me to the Jones residence. <clears throat> Dooley is there with further details. I guess Dooley is a colleague of mine. Detective McQueen closes cases by talking to characters and solving puzzles. Left click, click to examine items or talk to the characters. Left click to, on inventory items for more information. Drag items onto the scene to use them. Drag items onto each other to combine. Right click to skip dialogue. Hint, McQueen can sometimes wear items. Hmm, so I guess you can maybe disguise yourself or something like that. Your progress is ought to say, please do not quit the game during a scene transition. Don't tell me what to do. Oof. Officer Dooley. Look at that rain. Nice and thick rain. Officer Dooley, whoa! Almost, uh, I almost shot you there, detective. You shouldn't be sneaking around like that. I mean, did I just come in the police car? Because that would not be <laughs> sneaking. Dooley, you watched me drive up. I had my siren on. You waved at me as I pulled in. Guess this place spooked me a little. So what happened here, Chief? Chief, sorry, what happened here? Chief Scully. So many re references. <laughs> I didn't quite expect the game to be like this. Chief Scully just called me up and told me to get here ASAP. No details. Seven-year-old kid Alice went missing a day ago. No sign of her leaving the house. Seems to be the kind of spooky crap. I mean, the kind of case you're into, detective. I mean, a dark side case. Great, let's get started. Ooh. Okay. Something about these visuals that's like too much. I want to pull my eyes away from the screen. <laughs> it's like intense. The re low resolution on my big screen is intense. So, there's a squad car. Our trusty squad car. I like to call it the Popomoto. Oh, I like police, Popo, Moto. I like it. Do they call them Popo in the US? Isn't that like a London thing? I don't know. Our trusty squad. Oh, it's the same. <laughs> it's the same thing, but there's two different uh, things to click on. Let's talk to Officer Dooley. After you, detective. You know, whenever standing in this rain stops being fun for you, it'll never stop being fun. Can I walk? No. That's kind of weird. I was expecting to like be fully point and click, but I guess there's nothing else. It's instantly one of those pixel scanning games, though. <laughs> what about my notes? Oh, it's not notes, it's my options menu. Okay, then. 
Let's go inside. Roy Jones. Officer Dooley, why is there a hobo dripping all over my carpet? <laughs> uh, that's Detective Francis McQueen. Mr. Jones, he's here to investigate. I see. Twin Lakes finest, eh? Yes, indeedy. Ashtray, I hope you don't smoke around your kid. <laughs> I mean, fair enough, but that's a little bit forthcoming. Thankfully, Detective, I'm rarely around my kid. <laughs> Nice. Mr. Jones, so how can I help you, Detective? Tell me about Alice. I'll level with you, Detective. I don't have many dealings with her. She has limited conversa she has a limited conversation pool. She's seven. Exactly, a tedious age, so I leave that to the nanny. She's around here somewhere. Where were you last night? How come you didn't notice she was missing? I was out. That sounds shady. <laughs> how wonderfully shady. <laughs> Have you got an alibi? Where I was is none of your business, Detective. My taxes pay your salary. They also pay for the cell and questioning room. I'm going to have Dooley here take you to. Fine, call this number. They'll vouch for me. Busty Bell's Booty Boutique. I feel like you could have you abridged these. Boutique. Classy stuff. Ah, Bell's. Fond memories. <laughs> I mean, where was he? Bell shop? What? You received item. Matches. It matches the description. Interesting. This is the calling card. These are from Busty Bell's Booty Boutique. This kid didn't win out on the father stakes. Damn. Can I like... Okay. So I can't like ask people about items I guess? Painting. Nice schooner. Haha, <laughs> you dummy, it's not a schooner, it's a sailboat. A schooner is a sailboat, Dooley. Whoa, these folks must be millionaires. All he's got to say. Hallway, upstairs. Matches, painting. Let's go to the hallway. Damn, he's just following me around. How do I get rid of this guy? Chandelier, one of those crystals is worth more than I get paid in a year. We could take one. You, uh, you passed the corruption test? Well done, detective. <laughs> what the fuck? Grandfather clock. This reminds me of my own grandfather. <laughs> Your grandfather was a clock? What? No, he had a clock. Shame, I thought I'd finally find out something interesting about you. Nice. Well, I'm interesting. Whatever you say, detective. Bam. Brutal. Let's go in the closet. <laughs> of course he's here too. Box of junk. Hmm. A black light bulb. May as well take it. Now all we need is a disco ball, some white clothes, and fat beats. And we've got ourselves a good night. A good night we'll be finding this kid. Black light bulb. Box of junk. All the other junk is useless junk. <laughs> of course. Uh, let's go to the study. Locked. I wonder where I'd find a key. Probably the owner. Does it seem odd to you that these folks don't have a kitchen or bathroom? The recession hits a, hit us all hard, do we? Right. But we sold off the kitchen, did we? Can I talk to him about it? So how can I help you, detective? Ah, nice. Mr. Jones, I want access to your study. I'd love to help, detective, but I seem to have misplaced the key. Sorry. Taking up enough of your time. I've got nothing further to say, detective. Kindly leave me be. I give him the bulb. Oh no, not on my watch. Fine, so I guess you just can't give anything to anyone. Check the flowers. A place this fancy deserves something nicer than plastic flowers. Ah, uh, the attic. Telephone. What an odd place for a telephone. They must have run out of places to draw. I mean, put it. Why is that an odd place for a telephone? <laughs> Isn't the landing... Like, if you're going to have one... It's usually downstairs, but it's not... You have two telephones, it makes sense to have one on the landing, right? Daughter's, 
daughter's bedroom. Guess I should do that before the attic. Blimey. Mrs. Jones. Hello, can I ask? Ah, uh, my baby, my baby is gone. Can I tell can you tell me about Ali? She just disappeared, my baby. Is there anything you have to find out? <laughs> Goodbye. Find find her. Teddy. Tell me why she is bear. I'm only kidding, you don't know you're a bear. Stupid, no nothing bear. Let's talk to Dooley. This is a lot of pink. I think I've run off. I think I'd have run off too. <laughs> Man, tree, pony. Man, this could have been a drawing of our suspect. Really? I'll put out an APB then. <laughs> I don't know what that stands for, but I assume that's a legit thing. But yeah, I don't know. You'd look for like a blue man with black eyes. Looking at this, I doubt she's going to art school. <laughs> Fucking hell. She's seven. Oh, no, I've never seen a horse with five legs before. Um, I guess <laughs> he's mistaking one of the legs. Although I don't see five legs, so... He must be looking at the uh, super high def art. Pens. This is no time for art, detective. Black light, this looks useful. Black light marker. Okay. Uh. Oh no, not on my watch. Right, but why would I want to use them? And I guess that means that if I use the bulb somewhere, uh, like in this lamp that I, that he's, he's covering the lamp. Drawers, I don't have much use for a dozen pink socks. I mean, I wasn't telling you to take them. I'm telling you to look in the drawers. Uh, Alright, let's leave. Go to the master bedroom. It's the nanny! Tell me about Alice. She's spoiled and sticks her nose where it doesn't belong. That's what having super rich parents will do to you, I guess. What's a nanny doing in the master bedroom? Nothing suspicious, that's for sure. <laughs> no sorry. I think it's a bloke pretending to be a nanny. Because their drawing looks the same <laughs> as the the male characters. How long have you been working for the Jones? Joneses, detective, even though it ends with an S, you still pluralize it. Is now really the best time? It's always a good time for grammar. Anyway, answer the question. Long enough to harbour no ill will whatsoever. Say you're the nanny. The very innocent nanny, yes. Do you have keys of the various rooms? I'm a nanny, not a maid. Right, but do you? Yes. Might I have the key to the study then? Sure, there's nothing incriminating in there anyway. Right. Family photo. Bed. A water bed. Very fancy. It looks like something has been kicked under here. Uh, the strange page. It's a peculiar pattern from the Occult for Dummies book. Okay. See, if I can't ask people about... Oh, recognize this. That, oh, uh, no, I'm more of a complete idiot's guide kind of girl. Hmm, so you can ask people about stuff. That's kind of weird. Officer Dooley, that's a rookie mistake. All right, then. So you have to be bang on, which is a bit lame because it means it's, you know it's easy to just know oh I'll just ask everyone then whereas if you have to actually ask if you could ask anyone um, get potentially useful information from anyone that would be a bit deeper I think Alice and her mum look quite happy here I guess she's the small blue block <laughs> seems impolite to go rifling around in somebody's drawers uninvited Seriously? I looked through the girls. Plus I'm a detective. Like, let's look at the painting. Hard to believe this is the same woman we spoke to. The stress of all this is her hard. <laughs> I mean, she is wearing the same dress. Go to the attic. Punk. Paint thinner. The paint thinner fell when the shelf gave way. Not much left in it now. 
Right, so pick that up. Broken shelves. Looks like this gave way recently. Spilling paint. They're not all over the wall. Guess I can't. Uh, I don't know. Boxes. A box marked Anne's Broken Dreams. Jeez. Well, do you want to look in it? Alright then. That was just a joke box. Okay. Okay then. Uh, broken lamp. Hmm. Made it broken after I was just blown bulb. Yeah, obviously. Ah, it's a bit linear this game now. <laughs> you expect slightly more complex stuff from my adventure game. I hope this doesn't reveal somebody's attic shame. Attic shame. Don't know what that is, but what the heck? Well, that doesn't look ominous at all. It's the dark side doorway. Interesting. What's in this box? Just a bunch of forgotten memories. Paint cans. Those look heavy enough to knock somebody out cold. Officer Dooley. I like the look of this detective. I'd have gone with glowing green myself. It's creepier. Yeah, but it's not so retro. Um. Do I go through? Can I go through? The pattern on the wall looks washed out in places. I wonder what would happen if I redrew it. Probably nothing good. Okay, I seem to have everything I need. Let's get down to some spooky hijinks and redraw those missing symbols. Oh. Okay. Well, they're the same. I don't have to, like, redraw the existing ones. So... Um, this one goes somewhere there. This one goes there. See, I'm surprised that even this is incredibly simple. I thought they'd have to, like, there'd be a few dots missing and you have to, like, replace it or something, but I seem to have missed the trick. That should be it. Great. Maybe now is a good time to stop doing well anything, really. Should I go through or... Let's go down, just in case. I don't know what will happen if I click on it. So let's go to the study. Mr. Jones, so I can help you, detective. Uh, I guess I'll ask him. Mr. Jones seems to be an evil doorway in your attic. Just as well, you're here then. Go arrest it, it's trespassing. I'm sorry you heard me, arrest it. I want to press full charges. Yes. That's a rookie mistake. All right then. What about the study? And hey presto, we're in. Hm. What, there is, I can't examine this uh, dog on here. Westy. Lantern. An old oil lantern. Seems to have some oil left too. Okay, I guess I need that. Roy Jones, Esquire. It takes a certain type of person to have an oil painting of themselves in their own office. <laughs> I understand somewhere else in the house, possibly, but in your own office. I like to watch myself while I'm working. Is there literally nothing else here? Alright then. See if I can ask him. No. Oh, whoops. Goodbye. Upstairs. Wait, there wasn't like a... No. I can go left or anything like that. No. I don't think there's anything I could use the lamp on. Here. What if I... That would be more useful if it were lit. F oh, matches. I should probably light this thing, you know, just in case. Okay, Dooley, let's do this. No offense, detective, but I'm going nowhere near that creep fest. I'll let stand guard out here. I think. <laughs> okay. So she's exactly like the girls in The Shining. I see. Hello, mister. Hey, kiddo. You here to take me home? Yep. Good, I'm hungry and sounds from downstairs are scaring me. Yeah, uh, let's get out of here. Not so <laughs> fast, detective. 
Where's Dooley? That idiot, I knocked him out. I can't have you snooping around anymore, so I'm going to trap you here. At least take the girl. Oh, I intend to. I'm her legal guardian, after all. It's my job to look after her, especially if anything should happen to her parents. Say, for example, they're getting trapped in the dark side's version of their bedroom. It's where they'd be now if Alice hadn't gotten into my stuff and stupidly trapped herself up here. <laughs> I figured it'd be the best it'd be best to lay low until you had gone. I thought you'd have given up by now. Jesus Christ. Um do I have to like get this right? Once Dilly wakes up, you and your scheme will be done for. <laughs> Even if you do get rid of me, then what? So that's what this is, an inheritance scheme? What oh I see. What kind of cop would give up on a missing kid? I'll do this one. Even if you do get rid of me, then what? Alice knows what you're up to. She's a smart kid. If she's so smart, she'll know to keep her mouth shut. Uh, fair answer. So that's what this is, an inheritance scheme. You have to admit, it's a fairly perfect crime. It is, actually. Once Dooley wakes up, you're done for. Hmm, good point. I just have to get you to drag him in here with you. Come on. Wait, what? God damn it. Don't waste time trying to sweet talk your way out of this. I'm scared, mister. It'll all be okay. Don't lie to her. Wait. Have a taste of your own medicine. No. Well, that's the problem solved. Nut solvent. Solvent. <laughs> Uh, go on, Alice. Let's wake up Dooley so I can tell him my pun. Pretend it's the finest. First time you've heard it, okay? I wonder if there's an alternative ending. If I could drag him in, but probably not. So, the kid got into the nanny's stuff and accidentally used it to trap herself in that creepy attic. The dark side. But that's a surprisingly succinct summary of things, yes. Shim, the nanny, was certifiable. She was a looker. Right. Dooley, she was dabbling in the dark arts. The plan to trap innocent people in a parallel world, kidnap their kid, and steal all their cash. Said it was a shame, jeez. I wonder where the nanny got the occult books from, anyway. That stuff is hard to find these days. <laughs> it's for another day, I guess. First of all, I have to figure out what kind of paperwork covers this mess. Case closed. Bush. I wonder if he's going to get like progressively more complicated. Whether it's like a sketch. You know what? That's kind of interesting. I can't the concept though. Like a sketch game. You know, like a. I mean, it doesn't have to be comedy, but it could be. I feel like we're about to go into a fighting game. <laughs> so I can make a tin foil hat. If I want. Mm, that's like the antenna. The energy seems to be coming from here, but it's too powerful to go near. 